Kazmiri completed just one stage at the first round of the MTA Championship before mechanical failure would see him retire. But he was back at the Mid-State Freight Caves Classic Rally and at the end of Heat 1 was leading his class and a very credible 13th outright. Not too bad considering it took me probably two stages to get used to the uh, road book again. So the previous few rallies I've done have been on pace notes. So a little bit rusty in the first two. Had a go on the next couple but I'm having some troubles. Um, this car maxes out at about 150 kilometers an hour. So I'm not in fifth gear a lot and struggling to get back down to fourth a few times there. I think I'm gonna change some, some tires and hopefully um, we can stop some wheel spin. But uh, we're fairly happy and we're driving pretty consistent. So yeah, it's been a good loop. Tell us a little bit about this car. This is a new car for you. So we haven't done too many events in this one. Yeah, this is my second rally. Um, I've done rally sprints in this. I've only owned it for about a year and a half. Um, so it's really, I'm learning the car as much as as possible uh, and hopefully make it to Canberra to the NatCap rally in, in a few months so um, just trying to get some kilometres under under my belt. And what's the plan with the NatCap? I know that you had a plan at the beginning of the year I mean COVID sort of thrown that all out the window but what was the story there? We were trying to compete in the Australian Junior Championship um, but now that that's gone we're just going to try and go there and get some kilometres and get some pace note experience as well and see what happens. Now your plan for that next event, is it to do the whole event or are you just going to focus on the New South Wales stuff? Uh, look, I'll probably just do the New South Wales stuff. Um, I'm enjoying the New South Wales State Championship at the moment and uh, looking to uh, do probably the whole State Championship next year. And this afternoon we've got another four stages, a repeat of this morning's ones. What's the strategy? Uh, try and drive a little bit neater, cleaner and keep it on the road, mate, and uh, see what happens at the end. But another mechanical drama with the gearbox would see Kazmiri and co-driver Adriana Pallister out in the second pass over Beamerang, Stage 8. The team will miss the next round of the MTA Championship and head to the series finale in Canberra on the 28th of November.